Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are going to the mall. What are we gonna be looking for? I mean, come on, Funko Pops, of course, because there's some new ones that I'm still on the hunt for, and I figured it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me. And just like that, everybody, we have made it to the mall. Let's see what new pops we can find. And now our first stop of the day is actually going to be GameStop, where it looks like they got in some pretty cool figures, like these ones over here for Nightmare Before Christmas, as well as, check these out, some of the gaming greats from Star Wars. And the one that I actually need for the collection is the Jet Trooper, such a great one. It looks like they only might have one left. And for anybody wondering, I do also have the 13th Battalion. Uh, oh, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, they, they, have, they, have, they have more than one. But either way, I'm still getting this one today. Nate, you didn't have to call me out like that. I just saw it, I oh, thought. come on. Oh, and now hold on, guys. They came over to the front, and they have some of their larger figures, and I bumped into this one here, one that I've actually been on the hunt for for a little bit now. It is the brand new Harry Potter movie poster with all three of them inside. Yeah, I am uh, definitely gonna be getting this today. All right, now, everybody, we have made it over to Sunrise Records, where they have a pretty great section. But if I'm gonna be honest with you, there's not really much that I'm on the hunt for, at least that I need for my collection, because we've got, like, Glaceon, Arcanine score bunny, which I do already have. And then down here they have some of the new killer clowns from outer space. And it's funny, after a lot of you guys told me to watch some of the movie, I watched a few clips and I actually saw this exact one online. And it's a bit of a weird one. I don't know if I really enjoy it. So I think I'm gonna be leaving these here today, but they do look like some pretty cool figures. And then over on this side, we've got like the Mickey Mouse Disco, which I have, Ed Sheeran and Jimi Hendrix, like a lot of really cool rocks ones, because of course this is Sunrise Records. But uh, yeah, I think we're good for here. So let's just keep hunting. All right, and now over here in Walmart, it seems like the usual stuff. I'm not seeing anything too, too crazy. I mean, these 100th anniversary ones are neat from Gilligan's Island, but we've seen them a bunch of times, and I think that's probably... Oh, what the heck is this doing here? If you guys don't know, this is one of the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's plush. I'm gonna have to get this today. No, Nate, I heard you calling me over. Oh, we've been looking for these. Say, we've been on the look for these for a little bit. We're definitely gonna have to get, get some. Get I gotta get at least, at least three. Okay, everybody, so we are now out of the mall, and we've gone over to another mall to go to hot topic because they got in some new figures today. Also, there's a car coming. I gotta get going. All right, so I have made it in. I'm out of the road and let's see what they've got. So there are two things that I'm on the hunt for. Uh -huh. Actually, one of them is right here, Bugs Bunny as Buddy the Elf. Now, I know it's out of season, but it's not gonna be around around Christmas, so I gotta get it now. And then again, very similar to the Bugs Bunny, we also have the Gingerbread Foxy, one that I know that you guys are really enjoying because it is a Five Nights at Freddy's character, but again, it's really early. I just have to get them though. Oh, and also, I did see that they got in some new VHSs and I still need the chase for Stitch, and I, I see Nate, you're holding the turtles one there. I really like this one. What's the chase? Is the chase? Uh, or is it, oh no, it's Leonardo with the swords. Out. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, yeah. so yeah, maybe I'll get a couple more of these guys today. I mean, we got some over at GameStop, might as well. Oh, and now hold on over here, guys. This is a new thing that they got in some of these Sally sodas, and I know that the chase is literally just her, kind of like a gray rock, so maybe, yeah, let's get one or two. Well, everybody, we had a pretty good hunt today. And now I guess we'll start with what I grabbed over at GameStop, because it was the first store I went to. And taking a look in here, oh, right, I got a clone trooper. It's funny, I did so well today with the amount of figures that I found, I totally forgot I grabbed a jet trooper. I love this thing. I've been trying to get as many different troopers as I possibly can, so to get this one here is a nice addition to the collection. Then, everything else that I picked up, okay, yeah, it was a couple of VHSs, and I ended up grabbing three of them while we were there. We got Huckleberry Hound, as well as Pinocchio, and then the third one I got was, oh, Oh, right, Cyclone Commander from Battlestar Galactica. And now just for fun, we're actually gonna be ending with this one because it is the newest of the three. It's also the one that I've never opened up before. And so let's start with Pinocchio here and fingers crossed we can get that donkey version of him. Because I've opened up now, I believe this would be my third Pinocchio and still haven't got any chase. So here we are. Has he got ears? Ah, it's the normal version again. Definitely too bad, but the one that I got last time had a bit of a smudge on his face. So hey, it doesn't have that at least. Now now everybody, let's get into the Huckleberry Hound. And this one here, he's a little bit of a darker blue, and he also has the fireman's hat on, and that is the one that I really want. Alrighty, 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 alrighty! Hmm. Oh no, wait! Wait a second! I was thinking of the Comic-Con version! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Shoot, we got the chase! Oh, that is so weird that I forgot. Anyways, guys, this is the Chase version, him with cowboy hat. 
Oh, wow. I'm surprised nobody corrected me the other day when I was talking about it, but check this out, everybody. We even got the Blockbuster Chase card. It is the Huckleberry Hound with Cowboy Hat. And well, anyways, let's just get into the Battlestar Galactica one, and then we'll show off the rest of the stuff that I picked up. And this one here, I believe, is a golden version. That I'm not 100% sure on, but we'll find out when I crack it open. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry it fell out there, but it's looking pretty, pretty normal, that's for sure. And just just to make sure on this, I will check it. It says, yeah, just a character card, Cyclone, Commander. The good news is I don't have any of this one in the collection, so it's still brand new. Then, everybody, we've got this movie poster here, which is massive. And also, it's funny because I talked about this one the other day when I got the Batman Dark Knight one. I was saying how cool it was that they started to add more characters into the movie posters. And I was actually mentioning this one because there are three inside. So it is funny that I was able to get it like three or four days later. And yeah, I gotta say, this thing looks amazing, especially because it says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Like, it is that movie poster on the back. And I think the best part is that it's still only $80, even though you're getting an extra character inside. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot that I got something over at Walmart today. Okay, let me show you that next, then we'll get on to Hot Topic. It wasn't a Funko Pop, so I wasn't really thinking about it too much, but we got some of the Lego minifigures for the new Marvel set, then I also ended up grabbing this Five Nights at Freddy's plush. If you guys don't know, this is actually Frostbite Balloon Boy. Kind of a weird one, and I believe he's also from the AR game. Yes, he is. And so it will definitely be a nice one to add to the collection also does he sit Duh, not too shabby Whoop, uh, it's close but anyways now let's get into the lego minifigures because we do have three of them for today and i don't have any in the collection and there are 12 in total so i'm hoping we don't get any doubles also you may have noticed that they swapped over to the boxes when it used to be the bags and let's find out oh i got wolverine now that is a pretty sick minifigure especially with the way they did the claws and he kind of like holds them in his hands and I also did not expect to see this mask here too. And also what I did was they only had the pegs three back so I grabbed all of them from the exact same spot hoping it was going to be from maybe the same case. I'm not sure. Aha! We got She-Hulk. Another pretty great minifigure for the collection. And I also love that on the cell phone is Wong calling her. And now everybody, minifigure number three, which is Agatha Harkness. There we are, everybody, with some pretty great detail because she also has a cape and the magic coming out of her hands. All right, now it's time for Hot Topic, where I ended up grabbing two Funko Pops, two VHSs, and two sodas. Not too shabby. And now let's start with the Funko Pops because these here are, well, they're not really in season. But the problem is I need to pick them up now, otherwise I won't be able to find them around Christmas. So anyways, we've got the Gingerbread Foxy, which is a really, really great one. Also the last one I need for my Five Nights at Freddy's set. And then the other one that I grabbed was Bugs Bunny as Buddy the Elf. I mean, come on, that's pretty cool. And I've noticed with this Warner Brothers 100th anniversary, they've kind of been making Bugs Bunny as their main animal or mascot, kind of like Disney does with Mickey Mouse. Because they've done it before where Mickey Mouse dresses up as other characters. Now all of a sudden Bugs Bunny's doing it too. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just find it kind of interesting. Now let's get into the VHSs, then we'll crack open the sodas. Because we have the Leonardo here, which is one that I'm hoping I can get the chase for, as well as Stitch. I'm going to take another crack at him. And the reason I'm doing that is because Stitch is exclusive to Hot Topic. And I feel like once it sells out, they're maybe not going to be getting in any more of them. So I'm trying to get them before they do sell out. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now for Leonardo, I know that the chase is him with the swords in front and he's smiling. So let's find out if we got that today. We did! Oh, but we did. We did. We we uh we got the chase on that. That's pretty cool. Not too shabby. Wow. I am liking that guy. And I guess we can also take a look at the Blockbuster Rewind card if you want to check that out. It does say chase on the back. Woohoo! And now I'm hoping with me getting two chases today, the luck is a little bit better and we could possibly get it on Stitch as well. And now here's the thing though, when it comes to Stitch, I'm not exactly sure what the chase is. I believe he's holding something different. So let's find out. Yeah, this looks like the regular Stitch. And now maybe we were saving our luck for the sodas because I got two of the brand new Sally ones and the chase version is actually her where she's completely stoned. And so let's try it out with the first one here to see if we are able to get that. I'm kind of hoping that I get the chase on the first one so that way I don't have to worry about it with the second one. But either way, I don't have any of these in the collection. So very similar to the Battlestar Galactica one from earlier. I don't really mind. And this here is, yeah, just the normal Sally. 
quality. But I gotta say, this has some amazing detail on it, so maybe I enjoy the normal one more than I would enjoy the stone one anyways. And I know I'm just saying that because I didn't get the chase, but hey, maybe it's inside of this one. Also, hold on a second. This Sally isn't limited. What, what's going on here? I thought they were only doing that for the larger sets, and this one here is only her and Jack? Kind of weird. Because you guys know me, I really do enjoy that some of them are a little bit more limited edition. It makes it more fun if you get the chase because it doesn't feel like there's an infinite amount out there. But anyways, let's get into this one here and find out if we got that chase for Sally. Ah, yeah, it's the regular one again. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That is pretty much everything for today. And I hope that you guys did enjoy the video because it was a lot of fun for me. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow.